Well, hi everybody. There's been a massive turnaround in the weather. It's been up in the 30s for the last few days. Today, <laughs> there's been rain overnight. It's a bit blowy today. Uh, so we have decided to go to the seaside. So here we are at uh, West Kirby Beach. Um, yeah. West Kirby Beach. Well, yeah, just in just, front of us, yes. We parked the car and we're just going to wander down to yes. what might be called the sea side. And um, you'll see, you'll notice we both got our sunglasses on because yeah. it's quite a bright day. But, yes, yes. Um, it's quite breezy. Yes. And you may notice. <laughs> Wendy's got my uh, <laughs> little top on to keep warm. Because I just um, didn't bring anything out with me. Because I thought I've gone short sleeves and yeah, shirt, I know. But there you go. But I have got an emergency jacket in the bag. Yes. yes. <laughs> just in case. And look where we're going to be walking. Can you see? Show Let's, everybody to the little islands. Look. Let's give you a view. And the dogs look. So you'll see in the background there, there's an island, um, but the tide comes in across here. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's actually safe to walk across and be able to get back before all the water comes in. Of course, all this, all this bit here, all floods up with water. So I think we might just ask if it's going to be okay because yeah. oh, they do have um, they have the lifeguards here with their sort of bike and surfboard thing and they've got a lifeguard station over here so as we walk across to the uh, Hillbury Islands we've had a nice cup of coffee because we needed to warm up because it's just a bit chilly yeah. today I can't make a video today without mentioning over the last three days it's been like 30 degrees hasn't it yes 30 degrees it's been lovely and, and this morning and oh. today it's like 16 yeah so that's like a drop of 14 degrees overnight and now we <laughs> we've come with um just ordinary shoes to walk across mm. uh here but we get <laughs> We get out to a certain point, and what do we find? Yeah. Oh quite a deep, quite a deep part there. We don't know how deep it is, but we're just seeing people walk across with their. I think they've got waterproof shoes on. They'll be all right. But we'll just take a. I'm going to get very wet feet and we've not even got them. I don't even know how we're going to get across this. I didn't think you'd have to have special shoes. How will Pippin get across it? And my feet are cold and wet, darling. Oh. Oh, it turns out it wasn't that deep, but <laughs> Wendy... Look at my old trainers. They're just nearly threadbare and my feet are wet, wet, wet. Oh yeah, let's have a look. They've all come through the bottom of my trainers. Oh God. I hope we can make it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it, but it's a bit cold, that's all. Well, it is. Cold, there is a stiff cold. breeze yeah. blowing, you might notice. Um, it's cold. And it is, it is quite cold. Yeah. I mean, it's not wintry cold but after the past few days of being in like um, sort of tropical desert yeah. type conditions um, for it to cool down so much yeah. it's quite a shock yeah. so it's sort of like coming home from holiday <laughs> you know you, you go out to those hot places and then you sort of uh, come back and you get off the aeroplane 
and it's like, oh, too cold. But that's what it feels like now. It is, it does feel like that. But we're quite enjoying the beach. Um, and Pippin loves it. Yes, he does but love it. Again, once again, um, it sort of brings back memories because we're quite close, I think, in geographical distance to Talaka Beach, where we went a little while ago. And it's very similar. It's a sort of flat, open, sandy areas where the sea would come in. Um, I think the sea is beyond the islands over there. Let's just give you a bit of a view of the coastline where we've come from. As the tide was so, so far out, we thought the sa it would be dry sand, but how wrong we are. It's just like puddles. I suppose you're supposed to go with your shoes off, be better, or... Wellington's on. Oh. We're not prepared, that's us. We're nearly there now. Well, we've just about <laughs> arrived. Yes. The little island is this, mm. this island here, and the sand is much drier because the the sort of beach goes up the sea comes in beyond that island so we're just going to climb up to the top of there yeah. have a look over I think we're supposed to go round um, round that way of the island and round the back of it well round that way so <laughs> let's have a look and climb up over the top Sort of it does come over the top. I think I think probably the sea comes up to a certain point here. Yeah. You can see Yeah. Over in the distance here over this way you can see all I think that'll be probably Talaka beach that way but that's funny it looks this looks like some sea defenses have been built here because there's concrete there's a natural stone and rock formations here but they're concrete Maybe it was a maybe it was a lighthouse or something. Did hit the wall, she got maybe. Yeah. You can see just here is the uh, that's the sea just there and that would come in and wash right up over this I think you might be able to find a safe place up here if you were caught out and the tide did come in let's climb up towards West Kirby from the top of the first small island and then back out to sea. What do you think of it, Wend? Beautiful actually. It's like the sandstone and the rocks. It's quite quite wonderful really.
man at the lifeguard place back at the shore warned us that there might be a bit of muddy uh, place as we go over and it still remains a bit wet and I'm not quite sure how we're going to get past this because it's very muddy indeed look at Wendy over there Secretly, I'm hoping for a You've Been Framed clip. <laughs> no, you're not going to get one. Oh, I think Wendy, Wendy's found a good route, so I'm going to follow that. I'm going to walk through it, but it's very, very muddy. Look at this. We're going to come again, but and we're going to wear the proper footwear, and we're going to leave a bit more time, so make a whole day of it. Well, about six hours you need, really. So that's what we should do. Well, we we made it back to the car. <laughs> we made it back to the car. It was a very long walk, wasn't yeah. it? We set off at pretty much just a couple of minutes past four o'clock, and we're in the car and out the car park. It's now quarter to five so it's taken us a full 30 or 40 minutes mm -hmm. I would say 40 minutes to walk from the second island back to the shore um, well we didn't get to the second island halfway to the second island well no we, we weren't that far we were only oh. about 100 yards from it mm. I think well 200 yards yeah. maybe from the second island but we were certainly more than halfway and we? we really had to rush yeah it and we did we put enjoyable. on a pace yeah. that's why we both looked like we we're exhausted and sweating yeah plus i mean we're sat in the car <laughs> with the air con going a bit um because the sun's come out i couldn't believe it as the the mm -hmm. half hour it took to walk from the second island back to um close to the shore the clouds cleared the wind dropped off mm -hmm. and the sun came out What's going on there? Have a look out the window. It's lovely out there. A pretty amazing view, I reckon. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, I wish we'd come later in the day. Yes. Yeah. Never mind, we'll be back. It's a lovely place, West Kirby. Recommend you all go there for the day. Check the time tide tables and you'll be all right for that nice walk and if not you'll still enjoy walking round because there's a walk right round that um, boating lake yeah, really lovely but there you go nice place West Kirby that's our West Kirby trip mm. and We're... cotton chips from the seafront there were only four pounds I think that's a very good price don't know how, <laughs> don't know how good or bad they were we no. have any. <laughs> badly Anyway, we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye everyone.